Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Natus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our labs playlist. In previous videos, we talked about urine chloride, urine potassium, urine uric acid, urine osmolality, urine electrophoresis, and even urine leukocyte esterase test. Today, let's talk about urine nitrites or the presence of nitrites in the urine. This is not normal. Normally, there should be no nitrites in your urine. But if we see nitrites, what does that mean? Why did we order this test in the first place? And is there a difference between nitrites and nitrates? Of course there is. Let's find out and let's get started. Please watch the videos in this lab's playlist in order. Especially the previous one on urine leukocyte esterase because it's connected to this one. Let's see who remembers. Who makes leukocyte esterase? Leukocytes, my white blood cells. Which means that we probably have infection in the urinary tract, i.e. urinary tract infection. If I have a urinary tract infection, you will find many white blood cells in the urine. Some white blood cells have myeloid origin, others have lymphoid origin. If I have a bacterial infection, it's mostly neutrophils in the urine. These are myeloid. Neutrophils are also known as polymorphonuclear leukocytes or pus cells because they make pus. What's the function of white blood cells? They defend my body against foreign invaders like bacteria. This is my kidney. I have two of them, then two ureters, and then one urinary bladder and one urethra. If I have bacteria in the urine with no symptoms, it's called asymptomatic bacteriuria. If I have infection of my urethra, it's called urethritis. If I have UTIs in my urinary bladder, it's called cystitis. In my ureter, ureteritis. In my renal pelvis, it's called pyelonephritis. Pylo means pelvis and nephro means kidney. And itis means inflammation. Urinary tract infections could be without symptoms, asymptomatic or with symptoms. The symptoms depend on the type of the UTI. If the problem is just in my urethra, urethritis, then I might get frequency, urgency, burning, and dysuria, maybe with pyuria. If it goes to the bladder, cystitis, I will have these plus suprapubic pain and tenderness. But if I have infection in the renal pelvis, pyelonephritis, then I'll get all of these plus fever and costovertebral angle tenderness. How can we diagnose urinary tract infections? Look for pus in the urine, white blood cells in the urine. Look for leukocyte esterase and nitrites in the urine. Look for the actual organism in the urine. You can do this by culturing the urine. You manage UTIs by antibiotics. If you've watched my biochemistry playlist before, I've told you about the classes of enzymes. The first class is oxyreductases involved in oxidation reduction reactions. What is oxidation in chemistry? It's when you gain an oxygen or lose a hydrogen or lose a negative electron. What is reduction? It's the opposite. When you lose an oxygen, when you gain a hydrogen or when you gain a negative electron. Let's talk about urine nitrites test. It's part of urinalysis or the urine dipstick test. So what is normal? Normally, there should be no nitrites in your urine. But if we find nitrites in the urine, the test will turn pink in color. Which means what? It means that your urine has nitrites in it. Where did they come from? They came from nitrates. How do you convert nitrates, NO3, into nitrites, NO2? Notice I went from three oxygens to two oxygens. So, I lost an oxygen atom. When you lose an oxygen, it is reduction. What's the key enzyme? A reductase. So, when you see nitrites in the urine, it means that there is reductase in your urine, which means there is bacteria in your urine capable of producing reductase enzyme, which means you have a urinary tract infection. What are the bacteria that can make reductase? Many of them can make reductase, Mostly they are gram negatives because I've told you before that the most common cause of urinary tract infections is Escherichia coli, which is a gram negative rod. If you find nitrites in the urine and or leukocyte esterase in the urine, what's the next step? Urine culture to give me the exact bacteria. Which one caused this UTI? And for the urine culture, we'll need clean catch midstream urine sample. To learn more about urine culture and sensitivity, check out my video with this title in my lab's playlist. Asymptomatic bacteriuria is no big deal in most people, except pregnant women. Here, asymptomatic bacteriuria is a big deal. Learn more about asymptomatic bacteriuria, about urinary tract infections during pregnancy, about acute fatty liver of pregnancy, 
normal changes and abnormal changes of pregnancy, gestational diabetes, preeclampsia, eclampsia, and much more by downloading my OBGYN high yield course at medicosisperfectsnetis.com. Urinary tract infections can be treated with antibiotics like nitrofurantoin, like trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole, or amoxicillin, or ciprofloxacin, or ciftriaxone, etc. When should we use each one of them? And how do these drugs work? And what are the side effects? Learn about all of this by downloading my antibiotics course at medicosisperfectsnetis.com. If you want to learn about trauma surgery, orthopedic surgery, ischemic strokes, hemorrhagic strokes, and much more, download my surgery high yields course. It will even teach you about the infections that happen after surgery. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Here, go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.